Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another episode of Testing in Nutshell. This is Neeraj Kumar Singh and we are talking about UFT tutorials. As a part of this tutorial, we'll be learning about how to launch an application using VB script within our UFT. Of course, when it comes to automation, it's more important that everything is automated, including the launch of the application. When it comes to a desktop based application or a browser based application, no matter what it is, but yes, the application must launch automatically as well, avoiding our manual interference in order to launch them. So far, we have been launching our application manually, just keeping it a secret that there could be different ways to launch our application. And you now have a good understanding of what the script is all about. You can get going a little more deeper to understand what steps we can write without recording. And in fact, without using the repository, which is one we are talking about the launch application. So let's get started and quickly understand how to launch our applications using automation within UFT. As a part of this tutorial, we will be understanding how to launch an app using UFT and there are various ways of doing it that is using scripts or using the settings. When it comes to automation, in fact, the launching of an application is automated because we have minimal manual interaction with the automation tool. That is just the clicking on the run button here rather than doing anything else. So everything that is end to end automation is possible with help of any automation tool. And that's what we will be understanding today here that how we can launch an application or maybe a browser with an URL using the UFT or the VB script which is used in the UFT. So in order to do that, we will be selecting certain applications to try that out and see different ways of doing it. First of all, let's understand what application we are trying to launch and this could be any other application which is installed on your desktop and trying with the desktop application first to give you an idea. All you need is to go to the application, right click on it and get to the file location so that you can get the path of it. Just right click on this and get to the properties and copy the path, which is the target path, not the starting path. Because starting path just gives the, the last folder where this application exists, right? So make sure that when you are copying the path, it's the target path instead of the starting path and you just get this copied here. Now, let's navigate to the UFD and try this out. So in a UAT, of course, uh, we need to start with a new test. So let's quickly take up a new test to get started. And here you will be trying with uh, creating a new test to launch the application. And there are different ways to do it. But let's start with the script part of it, that how you can launch an application using the scripting. So there are two different methods to do the same job. There's something called as invoke application as a command and you just paste the path of the application which you want to launch. Now, keeping sure that there's a no application instance on the application, if I just run this, right, so it launches the application, completes the execution and gives me a status desk. Yes, it has passed. That means whatever you asked me to do, I was able to do that if I go to the action one and see that details, yes it is. But do you see that the steps are not being captured? So I don't find a step called as invoke application as a detail of the same. But yes, it does give me a result that the test which you created has completed successfully and launched the application. Now again, closing this application for your confirmation and trying the different way of doing the same job, which is called as system util, which is system dot uh, system utility which is systemutil.run. This is the second way of launching your application using VB script. It does have a better syntax if you want to define any parameters, for example, the status, the mode, the directory, and a lot many other things you can make use of it. Whereas invoke application do not provide you that syntax of providing any particular arguments to run this. So let's keeping this one uh, commented, that means non-executable line, run this one to see whether it works or not. Click on run. And yes, we do see the application here. Let's come to the result. Do we feel a difference here? Yes. 
So invoke application was not providing me the necessary step which was executed, but when it comes to system utility dot run, it provides me a step result as well that you asked me to do this and I was able to do that and the status was one. This is the argument which is the mode that means yes the application was open. Zero means closed and one means true. The application was on the screen. So this is how the difference uh, happens between the invoke application as well as the system utility dot run. Now these are the ways by which you can actually launch using the script part. But there are different ways to do the same thing. For example, you can also have a library function doing the same job. You can also have a global parameter calling that function or this particular execution but may not be involved in your core script. So you may have your configurations files or global parameters defined for it and definitely the library functions which we'll be learning at a later point of time. Let's see the other option using the settings how can you do the same job. So right now I'm just commanding both the steps which means that this will not launch our application and closing the open application on the screen. Then there's something called as record and run settings. These have both the settings that is recording and run settings. Every time we start recording for the first time it pops up with this particular window. That's where it says do you want to record and run test on any open web based application? That's where it records on anything and does not particularly ask for anything. But if I switch to the second option it says what do you want to record on? Do you want me to launch something for you like applications opened by UFT, applications opened via desktop shell or applications specified below? So this is a setting here which allows you to record only on the application which is launched by invoke application. The step one is for invoke application. If you have launched an application via invoke application command you will only record on that and if there's anything else it will not capture this. The second one is for systemutil.run. So this is again if an application is open via systemutil.run it will just record only on that and will not record on any other application no matter it is open on the screen. The third one is application specified below where you can define the application path using the path here and say OK. And also with that comes the property that launch application include descent processes. That means if there are any sub pages opened after the application is launched it will continue capturing the details of that. So if you want you can provide the working folder which is your start in path, program arguments and many other things which results in the same thing. So now keeping this pressing OK, let's try to run this without having the scripts being active. Click on run. And yes, the application opens. But this time we didn't use any script here. We are using the record and run settings to launch our application as a part of the global parameter to run that or open that every time I start a recording or run session. This will open, also open the application whenever I click on record button. Let's have a quick look on that. For example, I click on recording and you see the application is opened. I can just stop recording and that has nothing to do with my script. Also, when it comes to a web-based application, the same option can be used to do the same job. I just have to put this off by putting it to the first option so that this application is not launched and going to the first tab which is called as web. And again here we do have the same options that record and run in any open browser whereas the second one says you define which browser and which URL to record on. So if in case you have other browsers open on your application and maybe the same browser but different URL already open even if you try it won't capture anything on that. So for example let me say local browser and I define a path for it and I say the application name as Microsoft Internet Explorer. Do not record and run on any open browsers. Close the browsers when the test closes. So this will be something which is really great for you to automate end to end. Let's apply this and press on OK. And let's go with run. You will see that you will be launching an internal Internet Explorer instance and with the URL demo UAT. Right? So if you observe this step was again executed but they do not have any steps but you do have a detailed uh, steps here to understand that what was the command for us. And if I go here I would see that yes new tours.demoaot.com 
was opened in Internet Explorer. The reason why it didn't close it, the reason is that the page didn't load. Okay, so these things can definitely be taken into account while launching an application automatically. At any point of time, if required, you can always uh, define other browsers to work on it. For example, if you want to use other browsers, you can just drop down and select all the browsers which are available here and that will do the same job. So make sure now you have a good understanding of different ways of opening and launching an application right before you run or record. So you don't really have to write a script sometime just to launch an application prior to executing a test. But if required, you can also write it as a part of the library or global functions. So that's all from this particular tutorial team. Should you have anything else, feel free to comment below. I'm always there to address your queries and answer them well. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, keep understanding the context. Thanks for watching the video team and happy learning.